scientists are our best hope to end the coronavirus pandemic. Research labs around the world are racing to create a new vaccine. The idea is to simulate an infection while avoiding the possibly severe symptoms of COVID-19. Once vaccinated, our immune system should destroy the virus if we are exposed to it. According to the WHO, there are currently more than 60 teams of scientists working on a vaccine. Under normal circumstances, it would take more than 10 years. But thanks to previous research efforts, there is a chance this process may be fast-tracked, with human trials already underway in some cases. But scientists agree that it will still take months until a vaccine is approved. When will a corona vaccine be ready? A vaccine that enables us to resume our lives without restrictions while protecting us from the disease. I'm afraid we need to be patient and keep our distance for a while longer. And let scientists do their job. Like here in Berlin, where a biotech company comes up with promising results. Berlin is empty. Those who can are staying at home. But these lab technicians can't work from home. For them, there's more work than ever. The chemists at the JPT Peptide Company are regarded as systemically important, since what they're producing here could speed up the search for a coronavirus vaccine. We're creating peptide-based tools that enable the vaccine developers to monitor the immune systems of patients in treatment and to track them over a certain period of time. Peptides are amino acid chains that make up proteins. This company creates hundreds of thousands of them and assembles them so that they resemble the coronavirus's most important surface proteins. The scientists have been working on this project since January. Their work will contribute to research about the possible effectiveness of a vaccine. In the race for a coronavirus vaccine, some scientists are focusing on the development of vaccines based on messenger RNA, or mRNA. This involves injecting a person with the instructions for part of the virus. This would then spur the body to partially produce the virus. This, in turn, encourages the immune system to develop antibodies. Then, if the real coronavirus strikes, the person would be well equipped and able to defend himself or herself. Whether that will really work is what's being tested with the tools being developed here. JPT's technology has already been used in the fight against the Zika virus and Ebola. The Berlin-based company is indirectly involved in the race for a vaccine, since it belongs to BioNTech, a German company at the forefront of the vaccine race. But for JPT, it's not about competition. I think that's the wrong looking at it. At the moment, it's really about getting a vaccine onto the market. It doesn't matter who does this in the end. It's about making a contribution and maybe being among the first to do so. But right now, it's truly about fulfilling the ethical duty to help. The technicians here seem to feel the same way. Yes, absolutely. You think you can contribute to making people healthy or even healing them. It's very motivating. Yes, sure. But I do have mixed feelings. On the one hand, I'm afraid. On the other, I know I have something important to contribute. It's exciting. It certainly is. A new test could be ready soon. And many are placing their hopes in the effectiveness of an mRNA-based vaccine. The whole world is waiting for a vaccine. But even though at least 60 teams of researchers around the globe are working to develop one, no one expects a rapid breakthrough because producing a vaccine goes through several stages and that takes time. The first step, the virus and its effects on the human body are analyzed. Now, this is necessary to determine the composition of the vaccine. Potential vaccines are first tested on animals, and later on, this procedure is followed by testing human volunteers. Now, if all those tests are successful, 
The vaccine has to go through a lengthy approval process, and only after that, mass production can begin. Now, this process usually takes up to 15 years, but thanks to new technologies, development can go a lot faster today.